Okay guys, so today we are here to do another dish. This is going to be a white bean dish. So, um, white bean and cheese. But what we're going to do, we have already washed these beans and now we're going to go through and take out the ones that are not good. You want to make sure that your beans are clean and um, free from debris like that. Debris like these, if your beans are stripping off your wash them, you may want to go through and take out the ones that are not cute. Take out all the things that are not cute. And then once you get those out, you may want to wash them a second time. So, um, okay. So I guess this looks good. So all of these were not good. So we took them out that way, that one is good. But all of those you want to take out, okay? And then you're gonna wash the beans one more time. Okay, so we went ahead and washed our beans a second time. And so we are ready now just to begin the process. I'm just gonna pour my beans over in this dish here. Okay, so we have some, I'm just going to go ahead and put some onion, pre-cut onion and these are the purple ones. So we're going to season it with the purple onion and then we're going to cook with the white onion, okay? So we're going to put in all of our purple onions. On some lime. I'm going to go ahead and put some vegetable flakes on. And this is really just like carrot, onion, green scallion, um, bell peppers, red, green peppers, parsley, okay? And just a little, not a lot. Just that. I'm going to put some grounded black pepper in. I'm going to put some olive oil. Okay, and we're going to put some sea salt. And we're going to let it, we're going to let this sit for approximately 10 minutes okay and I'm gonna hope I'm gonna we're gonna make sure that the sea salt penetrate the beans and so we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes before we start cooking again okay so we're gonna put this away for 10 minutes and we'll be right back okay okay guys so the marinated marinating time is over and we're about to move ahead with this here dish so here we go we want to use as many different pastas as possible and we're also going to use some noodles this here kind of pasta we're going to use some small ones. So we're gonna be using about four variations of pastas in this dish here. We're gonna be using this um, Bella Rosa, Rosa, European cheese, an Irish cheese, okay? So we're gonna choose one of those cheese to go with the dish, okay? So now that the beans are marinated, we're going to go to the stove and I want you guys to see what the beans are looking like. Okay. So this is a marinated bean. So 
So we're gonna do, we're gonna need a cup of water. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and chop some garlic. Okay, so we're gonna go to the stove with the chopped garlic. White onions, different kinds of pastas. Oil. Parts of flakes. Black pepper, beans. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, so now that we are at this year's stove, we're gonna drizzle in some olive oil. About three tablespoons. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and put some dry seasoning on, some dry rub, McCormick dry rub one. okay, so that's the McCormick dry rub, we're going to put a teaspoon in.
guys, so we're just about finished with this dish. I tasted a bit of the pasta and this is out of this world good. Mm. I tell you, oh my goodness, I tasted another bit. This is so good. So yeah, this is a finished dish. Guys, this is a finished dish, okay? And so, with that music jamming in the background, we are going to consume this dish here. This is the finished dish. What we want you guys to do is to go out there and try this here dish. If after you tried it, you like it, we want you to come back and do something. We ask you please to come back and to comment. Let us know how your dish came out. Was it good? Was it not that good? Was it tasty? Would you do it and try it again? Would you invite friends over for dinner? Would you not? Let us know what your feelings are. We are here to share, to cook healthy meals for you and your family and for friends and relatives. Okay, so we want you guys to go out there and try this dish and come back and comment. Cook and recook this dish. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this dish, I'm telling you right now. This is just such a good dish. It's tasty, it's healthy. We have the chicken here. So, you know, this is just white meat chicken. So we have the chicken. We have Parmesan cheese and we have the four other cheese from Europe. We have the beans, of course. You just want to cook them until they're tender. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Cook those beans until they're tender. Put in your onions and garlic just as we've showed you. Mm. Guys, this is so good. Mm. This is so good. Yeah. So, use your olive oil just as we've showed you. Use your McCormick dry seasoning, dry rub or season, whatever you call it. And yeah, it should come out just this way because this is just a complete dish. You'll just cook once, and this takes me approximately 12 minutes to be completed because the beans are harder to cook and the pasta. So you have to take that into consideration unless you're gonna cook those on the side. And if you cook those prior to preparing the dish, this should take you just seven minutes. So yeah, we want you guys to go out there and try this dish, and, and if you like it, we want you guys to come back here and to share your experience with us. We're waiting to hear. Now, on your way out, we ask you to please, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment. And in another few, we're gonna be doing another dish. And we want you guys to, draw, to join us again. So until then, we wanna say, ciao, la bella, au revoir, tata, See you soon. Okay, so on behalf of my sister Min and Meg, and Meg, so until then, <laughs> bye bye. Walk good. See you again in the future. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by. Bye bye.